Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Microcontroller 8051 video lecture series and in this video I'll be going to explain you power saving modes of 8051. Here with 8051 we have two power saving modes. One is idle mode and second is power down mode. Here my dear students before I explain you everything regarding how power saving mode is there with 8051 you should have two questions in your mind. Question number one is how we can provide power saving and question number two is why we need to have power saving. Let me explain you first answer of how we can have power saving. So for that you need to understand how this chip of microcontroller is consuming power. If you observe elements inside microcontroller board then you will be having CPU, you will be having port, you can have timer, you can have counter, you can have serial port, you can have many things inside single chip. All these elements are working with respect to clock. So you will have to understand first how clock is given to all these elements which is there inside single chip. So by controlling clock mechanism to entire chip, you can control power of given chip. I will explain you how to control that in power saving modes. But first you should understand this is happening with respect to clock. Now question number two is why should we have power saving? So my dear students you should know this microcontroller chips that we use with embedded system. So majority of embedded system that is working with respect to battery. So when you save power what you are doing? You are increasing life of battery. So in short you are saving the cost. As well as when you provide power saving my dear students what you do is you eliminate many elements like cooling system that you eliminate. So automatically you are making your system compact. So power saving plays very essential role. I'll explain you everything in great detail in this video itself. Let us see all those things step by step. So my dear students here let us discuss first how basics of power saving is there in 8051. So here with 8051 we have two power saving modes. First is idle mode and second is power down mode. Here my dear students we can control this power saving modes by having PCON resistor that is power control resistor which is spatial function resistor SFR resistor of 8051 microcontroller. Here let us discuss first how advantages are there with power saving in 8051. So as I have told you my dear students this controller that we use it in embedded system and that is operated with respect to battery only. So when you save power you will be saving cost as you save battery life. Here my dear students when you provide power saving you don't need extra circuits which is there regarding fans and cooling system. So automatically what you are doing is you are making your system compact. Why the reason is now you don't need to have extra fans, you don't need to have cooling system. So by this you will be making your circuit compact and here you don't need additional circuits for cooling. So what will happen? By power saving you will be increasing life of device, you will be increasing reliability of device. Right, so entire system life and reliability that will increase because of power saving. Now my dear students, I'll explain you how we can use PCON resistor for power saving. So first thing that you need to understand is this PCON resistor is not bit addressable. And address of this PCON resistor that is 87 hacks. You can write PCON only in program but you should know PCON is having address that is 87 hex. So 87 hex that even you can write in instructions. This PCON resistor that is having size of 8 bits. Here you don't need to see what is this S mode bit, what is this GF1, GF0 bit as it is not there regarding power saving. But still let me explain what is this. S mode is there regarding serial baud rate that we use it in serial communication and this GF1 and GF0 that is general purpose bits that is left for user to define it. We don't use that for power saving. We use these two bits PD and IDL for power saving. When you make this PD is equals to 1 you will be turning on power down mode and as if it is 0 
then power down mode is off. To turn on idle mode, IDL bit that you need to make it to 1. As if it is 1, you will be turning on idle mode and as if it is 0, then you can say idle mode is off. Here my dear students, as if both of these bits are 1, then 8051 will consider this power down mode on, it will not consider idle mode. So note down this point, as if PD and idle both are 1, in that case 8051 will consider PD mode only. Now my dear students, I'll explain you how idle mode is there for power saving in 8051. I have already told you my dear students, power saving in microcontroller happens with respect to clock only. Let me explain you first how you can turn this on. So obviously by making this bit 1, you can turn it on. So as if you execute ORL87 hacks comma hashtag 01, what you do is you will be ORing this bit 1 with this. So what will happen? this bit R1 will make it to 1. So this mode that will get on. So here my dear students, this PCON is not bit addressable. Because of that, you will have to use complete PCON resistor. Here my dear students, instead of this 87 hex, you can write PCON E1. So here by having ORing of this PCON with 0 1, you will be making idle bit 1 and you can turn on idle mode. In idle mode, my dear students, we will be cutting off clock with CPU. So now processor will not get clock in idle mode. And you should know my dear students, with microcontroller 8051, 80% of power is consumed by processor only. So when you cut off the clock with CPU, you will be saving almost 80% of power. So here, my dear students, we will be cutting off clock with CPU only, but clock is available with majority of other components like RAM, ROM, timer, ports, PC means program counter, SP means stack pointer, PSW means program status word. So other things are having clock, but only CPU clock that will get cut off in idle mode. Let me give you one example so that you will be having fair enough idea about what is idle. Like when you use your mobile, after some time, what will happen? Your mobile display that will get turned off. So when your display is getting turned off, what is happening? Your CPU that is getting cut off from power. So your mobile is not consuming much power with CPU. It is consuming power with some other ports like display ports. It is consuming power there at other ports, but CPU is not consuming power. So as if display power is off, what will happen? Majority of power that you are saving. But when you tap on your display of mobile at the time, what will happen? Your mobile that will come in active mode, right? So idle mode is similar to this in which you will be cutting off clock with respect to CPU only. Here, my dear students, you can come out from this idle mode by two ways. One is by having interrupt and second is by having reset. But when you provide reset at the time, you cannot regain original state of controller. So that is how idle mode is there with 8051. I'll explain you with respect to circuit also. But before that, let me explain you PD mode that is power down mode of 8051. To turn on power down mode, my dear students, you will have to make this PD bit is equals to 1. For that, you can execute ORL87, 02 hex. So you will be ORing this bit with 1 so that you will be making this bit is equals to 1. That will turn on power down mode. In power down mode, my dear students, we will provide cut off of clock with entire controller. So when you cut off clock with entire controller, you will be saving almost 99% of power that you can say. Right. But here, my dear students, there is one issue that is to have come out of this mode. To come out of this mode, you will have to reset the system. Right. Here you will be saving maximum power. But 
you can terminate this mode by reset only. So here my dear students, after reset you cannot regain original state of controller. Now I'll explain you how circuit wise these modes are working. So for that my dear students you should know we provide clock to 8051 in between two terminal that is XLAT1 and XLAT2 at which we provide crystal oscillator for clock. Inside 8051 we will be having oscillator that will be generating clock signal for 8051. Now when we talk about PD mode then you should know this PD mode that is connected with this clock signal along with AND gate. So when this PD that is 0 at that time what will happen? PD bar that will be 1. So when PD bit that is 0 this PD bar will be 1 means you can have clock available over here. But when PD that is 1 at the time PD bar that will become 0. So one input 0 over here with AND gate will make 0 always over here. Now if you see further circuit then system clock will get divided by 2 and that will be given to timer RAM IO ports. right? But if you see CPU clock then that is given along with idle bit. So you see when idle bit that is 0 at that time what will happen? You see 0 bar that is 1 and 1 input with this clock that will be giving clock to CPU. But when idle bit that is 1 at that time 1 bar that will be 0 over here. So that will cut off clock from CPU. So idle bit that will cut off clock from CPU. But this PD bit that will cut off clock from entire system. So that is how power saving is happening in entire 8051 microcontroller circuit. I hope it is clear to you still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.